In this second episode of Get Started with Grids, I answer the question, can you use grids with video? Yes, you can. Grids work exactly the same for video as they do for images. Let's make a quick layout so you can see how easy it is. This little project will be Instagram reel size 1080 wide by 1920 high. Let's go to grids. And so that there's a chance to actually see the videos, I'll choose a horizontal three slice grid. I like a good dollop of white space, so I'm going to increase the padding, the margin around the outside, to 75. I'll do the same with the spacing between the three sections, increase that to 75. Click once more to select the top section, go to Media, then Videos, and enter the search term. I'm going with spring as my theme, so let's search for something to go in this top section. I like this pink blossom for the top with the blue sky. Sorry, lots of scrolling. Originally, I thought I might leave the middle section blank to add my own fancy text or something, but this hello animation will do very nicely. Oh, I'd better select that middle section. Now, when you do this, the media window changes but click media in the side panel and you should return to where you left off browsing. One more video for the bottom section. It can get a bit awkward with grids and editing. When you click away into empty space and have nothing selected, the first click on the canvas selects the whole grid. It tells us that here on the top left of the panel. A second click on any section selects that content at a first level. So for video, we get volume control, remove background, speed. And don't forget down here at the bottom, all the duotone effects, adjustments and animation. That's right. Not only do we have video, we can animate the video too. So much to play with to get outstanding projects. A third click is what brings us the size and rotate controls. I have to admit that when making my finished piece, I did get my clicking in a model sometimes. I will say that the more I use grids with either images or video, the better I am getting at the editing. It's worth the effort. I'm lucky to have a super duper computer with lots of processing power, Yet even so, this final piece did stretch the Adobe Express muscles. The more videos you have and the effects you use, the more likely there might be problems with editing. For the final project, I added a background, animation to all the videos, and a little intro scene that can be duplicated to make a transition for looping.